<laughs> you, you know, so again, no one goes to jail. There just happens to be like five guys that are like seven foot twelve, you know, to pull everybody off everyone. I mean, well, of course. Well, I feel like so, cheaters isn't really a good example because they bring security guards with them because they know that that stuff's gonna go down. But they 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 also have security guards on the shows on as Love well. Yeah. You know, I think that um, the motivation of the producers. Um, are to get ratings. And exactly. so um, they know that we are a society that likes the beat down. We want to see some scuffle. We want to see some argument. We want to see some scuffle, some fighting. And um, if you notice, um, as soon as they're about to really fight, they're broken up. And so um, if if they were truly fighting for real, someone should be charged with assault, you know, uh, attempted battery, whatever, you know. But it's more about the script. It's about the ratings. However, it is entertaining. But it becomes problematic when you have um, underage um, young people watching it and they think it's real. And that's where the problem comes in at because reality TV is good, but it's not reality. It is a script and individuals are compensated for their um, foolery, if you will. And so I watch it. We laugh. We, we like it. You know, it's like I don't know if you guys remember the talk show with uh, with uh, Jerry Springer. I don't know if you Jerry, guys remember that. Jerry, 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 oh, my gosh. Jerry. Right. I mean, how many fights did they have on there? You know, and they and used it, to they used to have the. Um, the bell and everything. Ding, ding. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and people go on there and they make a fool of themselves for the dollar. And so we do watch those things, loving hip hop and different things of that nature. But there are some that are not as um, aggressive and right. tasteless as as those other shows or whatever. But um, when reality TV becomes more influential than your household, than your belief system, then we have a problem. My my issue is I think that reality TV is becoming more influential in this generation and other individuals' lives that they're looking to these people um, as role models and they're mimicking what they do and it's it's it, there you go. it can become disturbing. That's right. And I that's actually right. I can tell you exactly why that's happening. Because within the last couple of years, reality TV now carries over into social media. Uh -oh. So what happens is, you know, a couple of years ago, like Flavor of Love era, we didn't have the Twitter and, and Instagram and stuff. So it's like you saw all the craziness on the show, but when the show's over, the show's over. So it's easier to explain to the youth like, OK, you saw that on TV, but that's not real life. However, just like with any show with a fan base, for example, before I get to my point, you have shows like Scandal, like scripted shows who or Empire is actually the perfect example where like while you're watching the show, you can That's live tweet. That's after. Not reality. <laughs> can you please stop? That's not reality. Thank you. Okay, so while you're watching the show, you can live tweet. Oh and then after the show, you know, actors from the show will tweet about what happened on the episode and stuff like that. So the audience, when the audience wants more, they remedy that by giving them social media access. The same thing is now happening with reality TV, except since it's reality TV, they carry over that drama into social media which actually does a better job at making people think it's real right the advertisement exactly the, really yeah. it's only advertisement so that people will continue to watch the show but if you see cardi b and somebody else fighting on tv and then all of a sudden she's on twitter like yeah you saw tonight's episode f that bitch da 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 she said what yeah no, no. that's what that's what happens she after said, the show she, she said what just, so, oh lord yeah yeah. Oh, oh my oh, god. Yeah, just a literally. Oh. Just nasty. Hey, oh, just it's nervous. just a direct nasty. quote. Just, yeah. Okay. You gotta, you gotta, give, us oh, right. oh, you gotta give us the quotations, right? You gotta give us the quotations, and peace. So, anyways, <laughs> back to my point. Nasty. See, that's nasty. When you this, see, is this is reality radio. This is reality TV, right? But, yeah. like, when you see that's that right. stuff after, after the credits, 
if you will, Mm -hmm. when you see it spill over to platforms that people use for their everyday lives, Mm -hmm. people are are not able to differentiate the two. And then you have platforms like The Shade Room who are... Who are, you know, glamorizing these celebrities that we see on the show and keeping up with their drama outside of the show. So it's not only reality TV, it's like this reality TV culture integrating itself into actual reality. And sure, and I I would go a, a step further and say it becomes problematic when you have people who don't have lives of their own. Exactly. And so they're looking to integrate themselves within the life of another individual and so you have people who look forward to seeing reality tv even like social media it becomes some form of reality presentation because people are putting their business out there other individuals are responding um you have uh people you don't even know interacting with what you say and so um individuals are inquisitive if i can use that no they're nosy and they want to know who's (laughs) dating who who's sleeping with who who's fighting who's arguing who's pregnant by who and and the sleaze is entertaining and i would say a lot of us watch it for that you know but me as a mature adult i can differentiate between what's real and what's not i know it's scripted and it's not influencing how i think but you have some people out here teenagers and other individuals out here that watch it and they are influenced greatly by it and it's affecting their behaviors their perception and even how they view life or their worldview is being framed by this stuff and so and my question would be um um with chief and Thin bad. My question to you all: If you guys had younger children, would you allow them to watch reality TV? Well, I tell you, some of the no. shows no. absolutely not. Um, you, you know, for example, I've the young kids really like Cardi B, and right. whatever you, whatever you think about her, she's done a masterful job of of marketing herself. Yes, I mean, she you, had you a have to give it too. Oh, absolutely. But what I do see. I I've seen young people in the malls and at the movies attempting to talk like Cardi B. You know oh. what what she say shmoney and all that other kind oh, of stuff. Yeah. Right. But then Shmoney. having that whole swag including acting out in places that are inappropriate. For example, there's no way Pastor C that that your wife or mine could go to a restaurant to discuss something they had a disagreement with and then all of a sudden they start fighting and breaking up everything. And then at the end, here come three big guys. They separate them and they send them on their way. Right. That wouldn't happen. Right. And and you see some of the youngsters attempting to have that type of swag and attitude with and they don't understand. That's television. If you try that and let's say Fridays, you're going to jail. Absolutely. This Absolutely. Is Today. So to right now. <laughs> That's right. Immediately, if not sooner. <laughs> Absolutely. And what do you think, then, Bad? Would you allow your children to watch no, TV? No, 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 sir. I, I, it just doesn't, you know, for all the for all the aforementioned reasons, uh, and it's just not a it's not a good look. Um, uh, and some of these folks, you know, it may be scripted, but they they aren't real actors. Right. And they don't seem like they, they're having to stretch too far from right. who they are. <laughs> it's not a far stretch. I'm like, hmm, this is believable. Right. This probably goes on, you know. But, um, but yeah, my, you know, I've got a, you know, the 18-year-old, she can do what she wants. But, I, you know, i got an a, almost 11-year-old, too. And she, she likes Cardi B. Um, and, but just from the music standpoint. But she tells me she knows the difference. But, you know, right. I'm like, good. But and I can't you can't block the, the the radio waves. But as far as TV goes, if I'm around, she's not looking at that stuff. Um, I, I'm not going to say she hasn't seen it because you know now you know you got YouTube, you got you know all the social media and everything else. It's yeah, hard it's to uh, keep track right. on all of it. Yeah, you got you know people. Well, well, we used to have to go to the library to do and see. You know, get on a computer. You know, kids are walking around with it in their palm of their hand. Yep, that's um, right. And they can get all of that stuff. I think that the most important thing that any parent can do nowadays, especially since we're just like besides just facing the fact that we're in this handheld world where everything is 
is on the phone and all that stuff. I think the best thing a parent can do is just kind of nip that in the bud by telling them, listen, the phone is a made up place. (laughs) The TV is a made up place. Everything that you go through in your life is real. Like you have to parents have to give their kids a baseline, if you will, because the the biggest problems I see coming from reality TV of course, yes, the persona is, it can be an issue where people are starting to pick up, our children are uh, starting to pick up those bad attitudes and slang and stuff. But developmentally, you know, you have 11, 12 year old girls who think that they need to be looking like they have booty injections and the fake boobs and the big lips and the fake hair. You have. You have guys watching who are 11 or 12, about to be teenagers, about to start liking girls, and they're watching their rappers call the 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 women, you know, oh, that's my bitch, that's my shoddy, that's, that's what? my... Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. No, Lord. Again? Oh, God. That's what he said. Oh, God. Oh, that's what he oh, said. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen, oh, this is straight no chaser, right? I'm giving it to you. Wow. Ideal, straight ideal. no chaser. No longer. Oh. So, you know, you have, but that's what you have out here. You have like this, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just a hot mess. It's a hot mess. That's exactly yes. what it is. Yes. And we can't, it's a hot mess. And we can't censor it. It's a it's, cultural it's, phenomenon. It's what it is. And it is influencing our culture. Yes. And we see it. And not all reality TV is bad. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that, but there are some that are, that just tasteless, you know, and um, the problem is it is influencing and framing a culture. It's framing the minds of those who engage and just indulge themselves in it on a consistent basis. And that becomes what's real to them. And it's not, you have people who are trying to act or whatever, and it's make believe and they go back to their homes and and to their families. And they're not even thinking about what happened on TV and how it affected those of us or those who watch it. And so I think that um, um, I asked the chief and I asked um, Finbad, would they allow their children to watch it? And they said no. And to me, that brings a red flag because these things are selling. It is it is the major um, thing that is being watched today. Everybody wants to be a part of somebody else's life in some capacity. What are you doing? What are you wearing? And these things frame how we dress. It frames how we talk, the slang that we embrace. That's right. Um, and it, 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 is, it is literally, to me, damaging the perception and the value of young people way before they start really living life. And so, I mean, I watch it. I, I'm an adult, though. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grown man. I'm grown years old. So I know how to, <laughs> you know, uh, differentiate things. But young people don't know how to do that. And so they think that these relationships are real. Th- this person is sleeping with that person. She's pregnant and she don't know who the baby father is. And I'm like, wow, Um, you know, and this is why I believe, guys, and you guys can chime in and give me a rebuttal. I truly believe that is why our generation or this particular generation is so um, infested, I believe, with all type of mess and stupidity, if you will, because it is being seen on television. I have this saying, everything the devil wants you to do or to become, he'll put it on television or in a song because your ears and your eyes are the gates to your soul. They frame your mind and you begin to do what you see. And you begin to say what you hear. What wow. y'all think about that? Wow, that'll preach. Hey, I just gave that to y'all for free, man. That was <laughs> <laughs> that was. <laughs> Nobody said amen. Nobody <laughs> said amen. amen. I wish I had a church. I wish I had a church. But you're right. Well, but that's good. But that's good. I well, mean, and yet, go ahead. Aunt I Lizzie. was gonna say. I think we should marinate on it and come back after the break. And start fresh from from answering that question. Because I like that question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're listening to Straight No Chaser. We'll be right back. 